India is famous for the herd mentality. Recently, I've come across cases where students have come to me and they've told me, look, Yash, we want to go abroad. We want to go to the US. We want to go to Canada. We want to go to any country that they want, you know. And at the end of the day, what really matters to us is that we get a job. And you know what? We are willing to pay the price for it. We're willing to change our field. We're willing to go into CS. We're willing to study data science. And that's what is very, very disturbing, right? Let me tell you, these people are not from the usual background. Some of these have been from backgrounds like economics. Some of these from even backgrounds like history, you know, people who haven't really ever come across something like coding or data science or a lot of rigorous math. Other people are just people who are interested in CS, who have taken CS in the past and, you know, they're seeing that, hey, look, there's a lot of jobs apparently overseas when you go abroad. There's a lot of jobs in data science, so that's what we want to pursue. And there are other people who are people with backgrounds such as mechanical engineers, people with electrical engineering degrees, you know, core degrees, environmental science degrees. And they also want to happen to go into data science. So. From this, what I can infer is what you guys think is if you study data science and you go overseas and you go abroad and you study it from the US, from Canada, that's your way to settling down over there. And while that may be true in a lot of cases, it's going to have a disastrous outcome on yourself, on your life, on your emotional stability, on the way you process things as well. Let me tell you why. I've, now, personally, you know, I have a lot of friends who are doing this as well. You know, they are already data science. They're already people who have gotten an H1B. They're working in, a, in an industry that they that, you know, you guys probably want to. You don't really have that perspective of those people. Right. But I do because I talk to them on almost a weekly basis. And what they tell me is, look, man, it's a great life over here. The quality of life is very, very good. But I just wish when I had that passion for biology, I had pursued that. I just wish when I had that passion for real estate, I had just pursued that. And that's what's wrong with society today. That's what's wrong with people pursuing the degree that they don't really want to pursue, but they just want to get that so that it's a pathway for them to go ahead and settle overseas. Now, don't get me wrong, a life abroad, a life in the country of your choice is definitely going to be fulfilling. But when you're in a country that you want it to be, but you're doing something all your life for the next maybe 30, 40 years because you can't just change your field. After five, six years into data science, you're probably not going to want to change your field, right? Because that would mean drastically lower salaries all of a sudden because you're going into a completely new field, right? So let's say that you go ahead, you pursue data science right now. And at the end of the day, when you're in the crowd, you know, it's a crowd mentality. There's so many people looking for the same job. And let's say there's plenty of jobs. I'm not going to say that there's a lack of jobs. But what if you had pursued biology? What if you had pursued real estate? You could be the best goddamn real estate agent in town just because that was a satisfying career to you, to your personal background. That's something that you enjoyed doing. And that's not something that most people can say nowadays about their jobs, can you? So if you're already pursuing a job, chances are you will relate to this. You may not like what you're doing right now. You may not like what you're you know, spending time on right now. But that's all a decision that you have to make. A lot of people who are listening, they're going to go for their master's degrees. They're going to go for their PhDs. They're going to go for their bachelor's. You guys have a chance. You guys have a chance to change your field. You guys have a chance to study the field that you love personally. And that's something that cannot be taken away from you at this stage. Right now, when you're in your 20s, 25, maybe 28, you can do it. But when you're over 30, 35, you're going to have responsibilities, believe it or not. Most people, I'm not saying every single one of you, most people, is gonna, most people are going to have responsibilities that they cannot run away from. And that's what's going to keep you from staying in this data science lane. That's what's going to keep you from waking up every day at 9 a.m., going to the job that you don't like, crunching data, preparing it, cleaning it, doing presentations, deriving insights. And let's say if you fail to do that, of course, if you not really are interested in that, chances are you're not, you're not going to be a very good data scientist, right? So that can have adverse effects on your life, on your emotional stability, on your both personal and professional life, on your career, and that can lead to disastrous outcomes. Don't follow the herd. Don't go ahead just doing data science just because everyone else around you is doing data science. I know personally coming from an engineering college, every single one of my peers, not even just the 
computer science or IT people, but also the people from mechanical engineering were actually pursuing coding and data science. When they actually <laughs> chose mechanical engineering at the starting, they were very, very passionate about this course. But realizing that there's very few jobs in that field, they started to choose something called as data science just because it has more jobs. And I understand that. I completely get that. But at the same time, what is the point of pursuing a mechanical engineering degree in the first place in that case? Right. So try to take these decisions into consideration before you take on the field. And especially when you're changing your field in masters, you can definitely do that. If you enjoy data science now, definitely go ahead and you'll be one of the top data scientists. I'm sure about it. But if you don't really have a background in math, you don't really like math, you don't really like statistics, you don't really like to crunch data, clean data, you just like to run machine learning algorithms, you think it's, it's going to be very, very easy. No, I'm sorry, it's not going to be like that. So choose your field carefully. Don't go ahead making the same mistake that others have made and they have realized it after five, ten years of making that mistake and they're too hard, they're, they're just too afraid to back down as of now. They can't go ahead and change their fields at this point when they're 30, when they're 28, 27. It's hard for them because they have a loan on their head, they have responsibilities, they have things that they have to take care of. But you can, right now choose the field that you like. So I hope that this video can go ahead, help you give you the impetus to go and pursue the degree that you want and not follow the herd, not follow what your relatives are telling you to, not follow what your parents are telling you to do, not follow what you know, the society is telling you to do, but really do what you will enjoy doing for the rest of your life because it's your profession, guys. It's not, it's not something that's gonna be easy to change later on, trust me. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel and reach out to me on Instagram if you'd like to connect. Goodbye and take care.